The Team Dominator Storm Chasing Mission, as sponsored by Flexio, has used many different delivery mechanisms to deploy sensors inside tornadoes, starting with the ground-based probe, which is... I'd like to thank our partners at Flexio for powering our science mission and sponsoring this video so that we can stay informed and educated when severe weather strikes. On April 11, 2022, a 10% hatch area for strong tornadoes and also a threat for gorilla hail was issued for Western Arkansas. Team Dominator was in position on a lead supercell that went right to the south side of Fort Smith with tornado potential, producing its first tornado near the Arkansas-Oklahoma border, and a second tornado started to come down near Charleston, Arkansas, with Team Dominator in perfect position. There is a back there, see? See on the back side? Instead of trying to take them on the back side. Or even flex tape it to the side of the Dominator here. As Dominator 4 is going to be very close to the tornado, I can simply flex tape the Gravitron to the side of the Dominator 4, and it's going to record that fine scale microbarometer data, that intense pressure fall that drives the damaging winds around these tornadoes. That's the goal with the Gravitron network. With a pressure sensor flex tape to the outside of Dominator 4, we were in position to measure fine scale pressure falls Ooh, inside there. of the tornado, a relatively weak tornado that was rated EF1 just to the east of Charleston, Arkansas, and we were able to sample pressure falls multiple times inside the tornadic Ooh, circulation. Those are huge. <laughs> We were also trying to launch the racing drone inside the tornado to measure meteorological data inside the funnel above ground level, while at the same time we were measuring surface pressure fall data from the gravity wave sensor flex tape to the outside of the Dominator. The first pressure fall we measured was on the order of about six millibars, but happened in a matter of fractions of a second. And that pressure fall over such a short time period was enough to cause EF1 damage, flatten trees, and down power lines just to the south of the road. The tornado vortex was about to plant just south of our position, and we were sampling the north side of the tornado cyclone. Here, Ted, I'm flying into the tornado. I think I might be in it right now. I'm in it. I'm inside the tornado. I'm inside the tornado. It's, oh, it's violent. You're in it right now? I'm in it right now. I'm definitely in the tornado. The tornado's right over the road. Right over the road. You got it? You're back. He did it. We're in the <laughs> There's a ton of dirt. You can hear it in the motors, the bearings. There's just, it's kind of hard to see. Look at all the dirt. This is a perfectly new drum before it was inside the tour. Look at all the antennas. The antennas got dirt kicked on them. How was the wind in there? Well, it would like, all of a sudden it would just stop and then it would rise and then drop and then go left, right. But I was trying to keep it smooth. I, there was a good moment where you just see the debris rotate. I mean, I was directly inside the tornado. I knew I was in the tornado when I first launched because all of a sudden the drone starts rising rapidly and I'm at zero throttle so the props are barely spinning and the drone just started rising and then it fell out of it very hardcore. Then I landed it, I turtle moded it, launched back into it and then the second time is when it, you can actually see the ground debris. Hopefully we get another chance here, we got the Gravitron strapped to it, you know we've won so it's just all, all up or downhill. 
Thankfully, no lives were lost and there were no injuries reported from this tornado, so it was definitely a win for the science mission. I'd like to thank our partners at Flexio for powering our science mission and sponsoring this video so that we can stay informed and educated when severe weather strikes.